Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. See General Hospital's Haley Pulas for the fan's new video. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's been nearly a year since General Hospital's longtime Molly, Haley Pulas, was involved in a devastating car crash. Since that accident last May, Molly's been recast a number of times. She's currently being played by Kristen Vaganos, and Pulis has been charged with one felony count of DUI causing injury, one felony count of driving with a blood alcohol content reading of 08 or higher, and one count of hit and run, a misdemeanor of hit and run from allegedly hitting a parked car. Police allegedly found edible marijuana wrappers and mini bottles of tequila in the car and say Pulis smelled of alcohol and was slurring her speech. Though she'd originally pleaded not guilty, According to the Daily Mail, Pulas and her lawyers are currently looking into negotiating a deal. Right now, she's facing up to three years in prison, but pleading guilty could potentially reduce that to a lesser sentence, suspended sentence, or even house arrest. In addition to the charges, the driver of the other car, Courtney Wilder, has also filed a lawsuit against Pulas after the actress allegedly swerved into oncoming traffic on a Pasadena freeway. You can see how grave the crash was in photos from the Pasadena Fire Department below. Judge Terry Smerling is overseeing the case and has set another hearing for April 8. That should be the last one. But reportedly, if no deal is reached by then, Polos will be on to a full trial, which could lead to the maximum sentence. Though General Hospital had originally temporarily recast Molly, that's since changed to a permanent recast though they've struggled a bit to find the right actress. Vaganist is the third to take over after Pula's 11-year run ended last May, but she's been in the role since September of last year, so it looks like we may finally be settled. Despite the fact that it will be a short week for three of the four stoves, Only Days of Our Lives will air a new episode on Monday. A whole lot of drama will be unfolding. Friday's cliffhangers set big events in motion, and we'll see the fallout playing as the fall season officially begins. Read on, and we'll take a closer look at some of the stories that will be must-see General Hospital this week. After weeks of sitting on the sidelines, bold and beautiful Sheila is finally ready to reclaim her place in Sun Finn's life. Convinced that the whole courthouse hug thing was a sign of his love, the Mad Mama truly believes that the only thing preventing her from having a loving reunion with Finn is his wife, Steffi. As we saw in Friday's final moments, Sheila took the most insane route possible to this potential reunion. Rather than knock on the front door and say, Hey, can we talk? She went to the back of the house and basically let herself in through the sliding glass door. This week, Steffi and Sheila will face off, and it's a battle only one of them can win. What both most realize on some level is that the person who truly holds their fates in his hand is Finn. After the women have it out on Tuesday, Finn tries to intervene on Wednesday. It should surprise nobody who's been keeping track of Jacqueline McKinn's Wood's latest pregnancy that Steffi will, by week's end, reach her breaking point. But will this push Finn, or perhaps someone else in Steffi's immediately circle of loved ones, to finally take action and eliminate the threat that is Sheila? Here's our list of suspects. Is yours on the list? We'd love to report that in Geno City, everyone is talking about Sheila's latest resurrection and rallying around one of her favorite targets, Lauren. But no, so far, young and restless characters seem pretty oblivious to what's going on out on the West Coast. Instead, another troublemaker, although one who is more minx than maniac, is the talk of the town. Because despite the fact that Nikki warned Audra to end things with Kyle or lose her job, the brunette and her hunky lover seem determined to keep hooking up. Nate will do his best to talk a little sense into his partner in scheming, but it's Nikki who will once again prove to be the heavy hitter. It seems she's determined to give Kyle and Summer's marriage a fighting chance, even if they both seem ready to throw in the towel. Will her closed-door talk with Kyle do the trick, or will the young man prove to be every bit the cad his dad was as a young exec? You'll recall that at one point, Jack was married to Innocent Potty, but cheating on her 
with his then mistress, now wife Diane. The death of Victor Kiriakis has brought several familiar faces back to days of our lives, including Brady's ex, Theresa. By week's end, another schemer will put in an appearance as Vivian, who has been declared dead almost as many times as Stefano, makes her presence known. Before long, Theresa will be raising questions as, following Victor's service, Alex and Brady skip town in an effort to solve the mystery surrounding the dead man's final days. Where was he before the plane went down, and what exactly was he doing there? Get ready for a shock when they uncover the answers. Finally, last week's huge revelations will turn General Hospital upside down. First, there's the fact that Sonny's been arrested, something that many of us frankly thought might never happen. While we're pretty sure that he'll find a way out of this mess, we can't begin to predict how. One thing we're pretty sure of? Diane will play a role. After all, there's nobody better at pulling one's bacon out of the fighter and at the very least getting it back into the frying pan. We should expect to see Diane working her fanny off, as she's also trying to help Carly find a way to get Drew out of Pentonville. Meanwhile, an awful lot could wind up riding on a late-in-the-week conversation that Dex and Jocelyn have. We know that he's going to come clean, but can't help wondering if it'll mean exposing all the dirty laundry or keeping some under wraps. But if there's one storyline we're most anxious to see unfold, it involves the shocking, if not entirely unexpected, return of Nicholas. Already, some fans are speculating that, like Esmond before him, Spencer's dad might have amnesia. And while that would explain why he seems so downright chummy with Austin, we sort of suspect that instead the duo have discovered that working together toward a common goal might just get them each what they want. But does Nicholas know that Austin has hit the sheets with Ava, let alone that son Spencer is bonding with his other son, Ace? <laughs>